Good morning, everyone. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. So something a little bit different for you this weekend. We are going to be filming a ground tour here at Blyton Shooting Ground with Billy, their new owner. So here we are, we are at Blyton Shooting Ground today. As I've said, we're going to give you a tour around the ground. Billy is going to come around with us and shoot a couple of targets and we're going to have a bit of a chat about what they have been doing since they took over the ground. So the grand opening was on the 29th of April and Billy took over the ground probably a month or so before, spent a lot of time tidying it up, renovating, has invested a lot of money. I mean, they've moved over now to the nice new Promatic card system from that horrible old three prong. Um, it's a lot more reliable. And yeah, I mean, I've been round once, as you've seen with the 410 video and the Beretta and Browning videos, and Billy's already done a great job of tidying up. So Blyton Shooting Ground is based just off Gainsborough Road between Gainsborough and Scunthorpe down Sambeck Lane. Um, it's not too far from the famous Blyton ice cream. So if you're coming down the lane there, and you think you've got lost, you're more than likely heading in the right direction. And Billy has been kind enough today to supply me with my own little hat to match my new manly shooting patch. And um, so yeah, we'll have a bit of a chat with Billy. So we've got Billy here with us. Thank you for being with us, mate. Um, I would say I'm looking forward to spending some time with you, but that would be lying. Um, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the next hour of me just getting picked on constantly. So I'll try not to do your best, yeah. So we're gonna go around with Billy and we're gonna shoot a few targets. We're gonna have a look around the ground. We're gonna talk, talk about what they've already done and what they're planning to do in the future. So obviously we all know that you're an experienced clay shot and you have got some experience working in the clay yeah, ground industry. Yeah. What made you want to take Blyton on as your own and put your own stamp on it? Well, Blight, Blight, the ground's been here for a long time, many years. Um, I took it on because we need more grounds in, in Lincolnshire. We, we haven't got enough. Um, for being a big county the way it is, we need more. We need more registered grounds um, so people can come shooting. I mean, it's, there's enough here for everyone. Yes. You, yeah. know, that, you know, we need more of it. We need to encourage more people to come into shooting. Um, that's why we're trying to do, put an events on to encourage more ladies to come shooting. It's yeah, nice to see yeah. them shoot, not just standing there watching the partner shoot yeah. all the time. No, it's, I mean, obviously you've got your ladies' day yeah. booked on the 2nd of September, yeah, is that's that right? It. Yeah, that's yeah. 2nd of September. Um, so ladies, if you're interested, um, there is a specific ladies' day here where you can come and have a shot and enjoy yourself. Um, but you've also been looking at doing a couple of registered shoots. Yeah, so we've got our first registered shoot on the 14th of October. That's 100 bird registered. So we're going to, they've done comps here before. Um, but that's the way I think we need to go. We need to be going that way. Um, encourage more people. There's a lot of shooters here. There's a lot of big shoots down south. We need to try and get more up into the north. That's what I believe. Um, and by doing the registers, we'll encourage that for other people yeah. to do it yeah. as well. Oh, right, set out, shoot some clays. Let's go. So I'm going to be shooting my lovely BR 110 Rosini in the 410 again. Obviously the championship is on the 28th of August and I need all the practice that I can get. So I brought that out with me for another bash. I've very been kindly given some Remington 18 gram six plastic wads. Um, so I'm just gonna rattle these through today, see what they're like. Might save a couple of these for the comp for the longer stuff, so. Okay, so we're gonna start with stand one. So we've walked down the main track and turned left to come down to stand one. We're gonna work our way around through as many of the traps as we can. Obviously I don't wanna shove everything in, bore the living daylights out of you all. And we'll, first. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try and get uh, some nice footage in and uh, yeah, we'll go from there, guys. Oh, a proper stand. Some driven targets. Are you going to shoot them driven or are you going to shoot them like a... I'm going to shoot them like a clay shooter. Oh, God. Oh. Pull. So one of the nice things that I really like here about Blyton is the targets that Billy sets. I mean, what you don't see on many 
playground is some nice, close, technical, very testing targets that make you have to think rather than just driving through a target. Obviously, you know, this is something that you're well experienced at. Talk me through how you would set your layout and why and what and ifs and buts and why and all of that. So when I set targets, I try and set them. So you've got a big range of people to look after. You've got your beginner right up to your expert. Um, experts don't always want big, long distance stuff. They want technical stuff, like where you've got one going away, one crossing in front of you, where you've really got to think about gun, gun hold and, and, and your break point. Um, because if you don't have it, the target's away. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. I um, mean, one of the main things that I struggled with when I shot the, the pro on the other week was that you'd have a big, long push off target which is normal yep. standard and i quite like them and then you'd have like a four or five yard really slow looper that you've got to learn to slow well, your gun slow down, your gun and down. Not leave so not push through too quick. it's one of the things i really like about the playground here um and i am really looking forward to shooting near some plays oh <laughs> middle of that go on then i'll, tr I'll try a pair Paul. Well shot. So we have bumped into Becky McKenzie here who is coaching down here at the moment. So obviously, I know that you've been coaching here since Billy took over. I have, yes. I've seen you coaching at a few <laughs> yeah. other places. Um, so obviously we've got some availability here. Um, for customers to come and shoot here. Yes. How many days a week are you normally here? Well, I'm well, I'm needed really more than anything. So probably at the minute I'm here two or three times in a month. Okay. Um, I work five days a week. My weekend is usually a Monday and a Tuesday. Uh, I do take the odd Sunday off so I can shoot yep. as well. Have the odd competition. You've got to um, do a bit every now yeah, and then well, still. Keep 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 me you know eye in and all. <laughs> Otherwise it's just looking down a barrel. Yeah. So I'm getting more customers here. Yep. Billy's done an absolutely brilliant effort with the ground so yeah. far. I mean, he's not everybody been here that we've spoke to so far, yeah. it's the one thing everybody has said. Yeah. The difference that he's made to the ground in yeah. a short period of time. Um, I mean, obviously you coach a number of different places. What's sort of special about here for you? What What do you like about the ground here? I like the way. Well, a it's tidy. Yep. Um, if you ever have a problem with a trap. Billy straight out and fixes it. A lot of grounds don't come out immediately and fix it. If I've got a novice client, Billy's kind enough to come out and make an easy target for me. Um, Cause there's no point taking people out on some of the more trickier targets. So the ground is available for everybody, every level. Um, and you've got something for everybody. Yeah. Um, so you can, you can try your easy targets, your hard targets. More experienced people will actually struggle with easier targets, believe yeah. it or not. Oh, it's just sitting there. Well, funnily enough, yeah. as we said earlier in the video, I shot the Pro 1 Challenge the other week. Yes. And one of the things that I really struggled with was how they'd set a big, long target or a fast target. That's doing then nothing. Into a really slow simple, one. slow yes. target. For example, obviously, stand four over here in the corner always gets me. And obviously, the, the long, slow income are on the stand behind yes. me. I think it's a, it's a really nice thing that I, I like to see because not many standard grounds take that. Normally, the bigger grounds you find. Yes. And, you know, I think it's a nice, nice addition. It's obviously good for you for yeah, coaching your clients. It is. So. It is. Um, every now and again, I bring my own gun and I'll shoot with the old client. So it gives me a bit of practice as well. So um, these sort of these are competition targets. Yeah. Um, so it's it's brilliant. I love it here. Good. Oh, well, thank you very much, Becky. It's no nice problem. To talk to you. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lovely. Thank, thank you. you. Paul. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well shot. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> So we've managed to uh, grab hold of one of the guys that shoots here quite regularly. So Nev, I mean, how long have you been coming here since Billy's had it or have you been coming prior um, to Billy owning it? Prior, you'd come a little bit before, but I'm more often now since Billy's come because it's just 
a lot nicer place to come. Yeah, I mean, I you know I've only shot here a handful of times prior to Billy being yeah. here, but the difference that he's made is is massive. Are there any things that you can point <clears throat> out that sort of your favourite aspects of the ground or what you think's been a really big improvement? The tidiness, general tidiness of a place is the, the biggest improvement you can see. Yes. But yeah, it's nice that. to have a, just a, a variety of traps as well and different shoot. Yeah, I mean, obviously now they've pushed around the, the back side of the lake and given an yeah, extra handful of targets. Better, yeah. It's a lot, a lot nicer than a lot more space. Yeah, and there's a lot, there's a lot more varied targets as well. Yeah. It's not the same and it, it seems to change a little bit as well. So you're not getting the same shooting all the time. Yeah, which... I mean, Billy's very kind. He said, you know, he tries to tries his best to change them every fortnight, but yeah. you know, at least every three weeks. Or no, so. it does. Yeah, you come. You don't get complacent with stuff in yeah. here, but it, it does make a big difference. And obviously, you come group of three of you here today to shoot. Yeah, you just bring my lad with you. Yeah, he's he's um, he's just starting getting into it. So that's what's made, it's what's made me come a bit more just to try and get him to get his eye in and get shooting. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Well, thank you very much for talking to you. No worries. Nice to meet you. I hope thank you, you very much. Thank yeah, you. all do. Cheers. Oh. I Paul. So we've been fortunate enough to bump into one of our customers, Dave. Um, Dave shot with us for a number of years. Um, obviously, it's nice to see you here. I see you here quite regularly. I'm taking it your it's your local ground. As long as I'm not working, then yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah, yeah, can't keep me away. That's so, how it. long have you been coming here? Oh, uh, 15 years, perhaps. Yep. Okay. One way so or another. So you come through probably what three different ownerships yes, of the ground. Yes, yeah, that's right. Um, uh -huh. I mean, obviously, I've been here before, and I think. I don't know whether you'll agree with what Billy's done so far in the oh, it's just, couple of months. He's yeah, it's just, all, job. it's just awesome. It just makes me smile all the time. It's such a pleasure, yeah. really, it's such a pleasure uh, to be here. Uh, yeah, it's, it just shows it's all possible. Just yeah, a bit of effort and work yeah. or is, whatever. Is there anything and it's, in particular here that you, you've enjoyed shooting today? Any of the targets? Oh, they keep changing and, and yeah, I keep missing them, but I keep trying. So <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's all you can do, isn't it? It's I, you know, have point. a go, have a go. Yeah, so, sometimes you get them and then they change and whatever. But it keeps you on your toes. It keeps does, you, yeah. Uh, I mean, for sure. You've no chance of getting bored. Funnily no enough, everybody bored. that we've spoken so, to yeah. so far has all said exactly the same, that Billy changes his targets oh, absolutely. regularly. Yes, um, yeah. You know, with lots of grounds, yeah. it's... Yeah. Once a month or once every two. Oh months. yeah, no, 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 no. It's 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 at least every fortnight. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it, it, it does you good. It does you shooting does, good. Yeah. I'm well, sure. Thank yeah. you very much for stopping and having a chat. Pleasure. With us. Okay. Always, it's nice to see you. Thank you. See you again, Paul. Who's it gone? Paul. Oh god, that wind's got that, hasn't it? Yep. Good shot. So we have made it round to stand 12, which is the last stand on the sporting layout. Um, I mean, I, as always, when I come here and do my videos, I've really enjoyed it. Obviously, having you with me has made it even better. <laughs> Shame we didn't bring any socks though, innit? It's summer. <laughs> it was meant to be 24 degrees. I was trying to be summery. I was trying to be summery. Um, but yeah, I mean, every time I come here, I always really enjoy myself. Everybody is so welcoming. The girls in the clubhouse at the front are ever so kind. And it's just such a, a nice ground. And the, the vibe, I definitely think, in the times that I've come before you were here has definitely changed. It's a lot more relaxed, enjoyable easy going ground um, and I mean one of the nice things that I've seen today is so far we've not had a single no bird today yet no I don't think no 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 we haven't um, no. and that's really impressive I mean well the place I've... place got known for having no birds we've done a lot of work on traps still consistent doing work with traps working very closely with CCIs who supply our clays and with Promatic um, we're working closely with Duncan from Promatic for next year looking at yet again to upgrade our traps to Promatic, um, looking at next year for that now. Um, 
And, you know, they've been really helpful with us at Promatic. I mean, Duncan, we get an issue, we ring them, they sort it as quick as possible, which that's what we need. Yes. Yeah. We need that as much as we can. Yeah, and it's very good support for you guys. It's very, you know, it helps you guys keep the yeah. customers happy. Yeah. And also, it's good for you guys. It's, it's a good show. And I mean, I've got maybe 25 cartridges left out of the 100 that I have bought today. <laughs> and, you know, we've both roughly shot about the same. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's well over 150 clays and, and not one no bird. I'm, I am really, really impressed well, with mean, that. Well, I mean, that's what it's down to. I mean, Trap Tech, they come in and he helps me out a lot as well with our traps. Any issues with our traps, we ring him. He'll come straight here, sort them out. Or he's always at the end of the phone. I mean, he's a lovely lad. He gets them really well. Any issues, I ring him up. Help, I need your help, and he's like, just nice and calm, no phone, explain things, and that's what we need, because our customers, last thing they want is go to a trap and it's not working, yeah. or it's inconsistent, you know, we don't need that, we want everything working as, as it should. Yeah, yeah. Well, Billy, thank you very much, mate. We're going to finish this standoff, yep. um, and thank you, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself today, mate. Good, glad you enjoyed right. it. you're going first. I'll have a go. Nicely shot, mate. Pull. So I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Billy and the whole team here at Blyton Shooting Ground for having me here today to film a ground tour for them. As always, I've really enjoyed myself some fantastic targets to shoot at, um, especially through my Rosini 410. It's been really, really good practice leading up to the 410 British Championship. So Billy has just told me that hopefully the barn end five stand that was always here, the famous barn end, will be coming back, which will be an absolutely fantastic addition to the clay ground. So again, thank you for watching this week, guys. I look forward to getting back to you next week with another video. Thank you very much.